Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here, and today I have another brand, brand new energy drink for you. I always have new drinks for you, but this one is brand spanking new. It is the brand new summer edition Red Bull Strawberry Apricot. <laughs> Strawberry Apricot. I don't think I've reviewed an apricot drink just yet. So, so Red Bull always coming out with some unique flavors. Sometimes they make it, sometimes they don't, but we will find out more about that coming right up. Hello again, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you want to stay informed on all things caffeine related, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday night and one on the weekends. And in today's video, we're going over the brand, brand, brand new summer edition from Red Bull. And that is the strawberry apricot. And uh, believe it or not, I couldn't find this drink. I get a lot of DMs from people saying, hey, have you seen this? Hey, have you seen this? And I'm like, listen, it just got released. It got released early at some stores. Some stores put them out early, but my stores didn't have them yet and I actually found this at Sonic. Sonic does have a contract with Red Bull for their summer edition and basically it is their Red Bull slushy that they do. So it's their summer slushy. But if you ask them for just the can, they will actually give you just the can. So that is one way to find it if you can't find it in stores. But now that I actually purchased it from Sonic and a couple of days have gone by, I was just at Walmart looking for the new G Fuels. They don't carry the G Fuels at the Walmarts near me, but you never know if they decide to start. And I saw that they had this Red Bull so it is getting into stores everywhere, so it should be in stores near you everywhere. And it is interesting what Red Bull does. I mention this every time I do their summer edition or winter edition, but I, so I am mentioning it again. You can feel free to skip ahead. But unlike the other companies that just release two or three or four or six new energy drinks throughout the year, Red Bull will always release two new flavors, and it is their summer edition and their winter edition. Sometimes they might squeeze another one or two in there, but usually it's just those two. And if they sell well enough, they usually end up putting it into their regular line as of today none of the winter editions have ever made it into the regular line but some of the summer editions have and so far since i started my channel it's been the coconut berry red bull was a summer edition became the white edition the watermelon flavor ended up replacing the cranberry smart choice and just recently the dragon fruit as well dragon fruit was last summer's edition and i said that oh you know this is pretty good it could make it into the line but i'm not sure if it's going to but it did, so we will see how this strawberry apricot does. And in this video, I am going to briefly go over the nutrition facts panel and the ingredients before doing a taste test of this newest Red Bull flavor. Timestamps and chapters might be down below, so you can go where you want to go, depending on how long this video is. Usually anything under 10 minutes, I don't usually use a timestamp, but there are people that love timestamps, and it's not really that hard to do, so I probably should do it for most of my videos. But I want people to watch the whole thing. We'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and take a super quick look at the Nutrition Facts panel. On the Nutrition Facts panel, you're going to see that these have 100 calories, zero fat, 90 milligrams of sodium, 28 carbs from 27 grams of added sugar, and zero protein. And taking a look at the vitamins, you're going to see that this has 2% of your daily value of calcium, 80% of your daily value of B12, 250% of your B6, and 50% of your pantothenic acid. As for your ingredients, you're going to have all the usual suspects in a Red Bull energy drink, such as carbonated water, sugar, glucose, citric acid, taurine, sodium citrate, natural and artificial official flavors, 80 milligrams of caffeine in this eight ounce can, putting it at the standard of 10 milligrams per ounce. Also has colors in it. <laughs> what, what, are, what are colors? I'm guessing they're talking about artificial and or natural colors, but they don't want to put that on there. Too many words. And the rest of all the ingredients for your vitamins. Let's go ahead. Let's taste it out. Just gonna grab it from my Caffeine Man fridge. And if you guys are looking for lots of different kinds of energy drinks, if you're looking for variety, you can always check out Campus Protein. They've really been expanding all the energy drinks that they have. And when you go there, if you see a whole bunch of stuff that you like, you can get 10% off your entire order with coupon code Caffeine Man 10 I'll include a link down below in a pinned comment, as well as a link in the description box. And here is the can. Very bright orange can so that you can see it. I didn't actually realize that it was that bright. Some of you might be able to say, hey, caffeine man, that's really bright. You didn't do a good job. Happens to the best of us. Let's taste it out. Got a strawberry color here. As mentioned, they do put colors in here. So, so there you go. Strawberry color. Yeah, you know what? See a little bit of apricot color in there too. So 
So for your carbonation, you're getting a medium to high carbonation, a little bit closer to medium. Uh, they don't tend to go as strong in the carbonation as some of the other companies, depending on the flavor. For your sweetness, you are getting a high sweetness though. I would say that you're probably on the low end of high. They do use a ton of sugar in their drinks. And the only reason it's not on the regular end of high is because um, of the little bit of citrus in there pulling back just a touch, not much at all, because like I said, it is on the low end of high. And for the flavor profile, it is getting a high flavor profile. They're doing a good job with the flavor and uh, I am pretty impressed with it. Uh, although I don't have many drinks that have sugar in it. I, I try not to drink drinks with sugar in it. So it does have that going for it. Why I like it a little bit more, but uh, there's not a ton of strawberry flavors out there that I really, really like. And I have been trying to find some more. You know, there's one or two out there, but uh, they're doing a good job with this. And uh, I was actually gonna say that I really, really like the drink altogether, but um, but it's that, that strawberry flavor hits you first and it's a nice, good strawberry and that it's got enough sweetness in there to make it a sweet strawberry flavor as opposed to sort of a natural berry flavor. And then after like a little while, I was like, oh, that doesn't really seem like there's much apricot in there, but then really on the back end, like really on the back end, you do get a little bit of that apricot flavor. So I would say you're getting like at least a 75% strawberry up front with a little bit of that apricot. But then as it goes on and you get to the back end, you're probably getting like a 60% apricot and 40% strawberry. So they almost kind of switch places but you are getting more of a strawberry heavy flavor out of here with just a little bit of apricot so where's it going to be going on the caffeine man rating chart i think i like this a little bit better than last year's dragon fruit because they did do a good job with the strawberry so i am actually going to give this an 8.8 .8. it's a good flavor but what i would like to see from red bull is a little bit more sugar-free options they really don't have many sugar-free options and in this sugar-free energy drink world i'm not sure why they don't but apparently they don't need to because everyone buys all the other ones from them don't care about this sugar i guess Thank you so much for joining me today. Really do appreciate it. And until next time, have yourselves a great day. Or night. And taking a look at the vitamins, you're gonna see that this is 2%. And taking a look at the vitamins, you're gonna see that this has, and taking a look at the vitamins, you're gonna see that this has 2% of your daily value of calcium, 80% of your, 80% of your daily value of B6, 80% of your daily value of B12 and 50% of your panthen and 50% of your panthen and 50% of your panthen and 50% of your panthenic acid.